Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And you can say it's for the next seven days, okay? Or uh, the 23rd through the 30th, something like that. Now the time is fluid, so, you know, that's the way it goes. This reading may or may not be for you. This card just fell out. Period of prosperity and abundance. Red. Bread, so period of prosperity and abundance. All right, so that's what we got coming. That's what we have coming up for you. But let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. So what do we got for Pisces? Plenty. I feel like you, you're going to have plenty. What do we have for Pisces? Okay. Ooh, your soulmate is not who you think it is. Interesting. Your soulmate is not who you think it is. <laughs> the end. The end. The end of a story. The end of a situation. Something is coming to an end. That's the end. Yeah, the end of a story, right? Maybe you're headed towards prosperity and abundance once this story ends. Maybe you have a new soulmate. That's what it looks like. But anyhow, what do we got? What do we got for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Door to personal healing and happiness. So there's a new door that is opening up for you, okay? That does lead to healing and happiness. So you're going to be going through a new doorway. That's beautiful. So there is a new doorway that is opening that leads to healing, happiness, prosperity, and abundance. But there is a story that is ending, okay? The endings lead to new beginnings. If you think about the death card, endings lead to new beginnings. So something is ending. It leads to it looks like it's a beautiful new beginning. And what do we have for Pisces? Round and round, round and round. We're gonna go ahead and read that because I did it for everybody else. So round and round. The, sp the spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated. Cycles you are challenged to break. Revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. The appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backwards, the truth is, is that you are standing at a higher, you are standing at a higher level looking down into your circumstances. You will learn something, do something better, and break a cycle set up in the past. You actually have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can assess the wisdom and lessons learned. Are you wondering, how did I get here again? Does something feel familiar right now in your dynamics with others? Maybe a little too familiar? Don't see, be surprised that you found yourself repeating an old story with the same sort of person who may not look similar, but who attracted you because of your easy acquaintance with his or her qualities. Your relationship is a mix of what is good and what is potentially challenging. You have been drawn to this person through the perfection of spirit's plan for your evolution. You may have circled back to an accustomed spot, a familiar place, but that's fine as you get to do things again, only differently this time. For you learned something of great value since the last time around. How will you choose to behave now that you are aware? If you are in a scenario that appears to be an echo of something that's already happened in the past in your work life, it is because you're being invited to see what you couldn't see before. 
This is the perfect time for you to look at the deeper motives you have in your attraction to the opportunities and people who have entered your life. Who helps you navigate? Who sabotages you? Who supports you? What are your familiar signs and your responses to them when you find yourself in a repeat of a pattern of the past? It's a good time to get a coach or mentor who mentor who can help you see what you can't on your own. Are you refusing to see your own personal responsibility for repeating lessons you don't need to relearn? You have to surrender now to the fact that you are a common denominator in all these repeat performances. Be happy for this is a wonderful spot to be in. You can now see the cycles that you wish to exit. Once you figure out that you have the power to stop going round and round, you possess the key to your freedom. Be good to yourself. It's not about blame, but accountability. You can have the abundant life filled with love and prosperity that spirit so wants for you. But you have to go through that door. It's like it's waiting for you to grab onto it. So I don't know what the problem is. Because it's a, it's a cycle that you keep repeating that you need to break that cycle. You need to find a way to break that cycle. It's a karmic cycle. That's what it is. What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? The end. The end. I think you have a new soulmate. Your soulmate is not who you think it is. What do we have for Pisces? You got a new door that is opening. You have an opportunity to break a vicious cycle. The opportunity is always yours. What do we have for Pisces? Ooh, the world card. The world card is the end of a chapter. It's the end of a phase. It's more than the end of a chapter. It's the end of something big. Okay? It's a lesson that has been learned. A major les lesson. This is accomplishment. This is a long-term project or goal or phase or relationship has, has come to an end, okay? Something that changed your life, that changed your views, that changed you, okay? So this is completing a cycle and beginning a new journey. The end. That is the end. And I put it right underneath the end card. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. It was right underneath it, but the end. So this is definitely the end. The end, the end, the end. The end of a cycle. The end of a life as you knew it. And that's what that is. Nine of Cups reverse. And the Nine of Cups reverse is unhappy. It's not happy. Wishing that you never got involved in this. Wishing that uh, this is like a nightmare. Maybe you're unable to give or receive love at this time. This is... Um, a lack of wish fulfillment, not, not feeling abundant, a lack of abundance. So there's something that is not fulfilling you. You're in an unfulfilling situation right now. Tower reversed, avoiding challenge, avoiding it. It's like, I'm just going to stay here. I'm going to stay in this false sense of security. I'm going to stay in this false foundation. I'm going to pretend that everything's okay. It's all false, all lies. Avoiding, avoiding the challenge of change. That's what this is. But this is, gonna, this is like a permanent loss, a painful change that you never saw coming that can no longer be avoided. So there is, and it's not going to be, it's like I didn't ask for this. I, and I think it's because you, it's felt secure to you. There, it brought you some sort of security, but it was built on false pretenses. It's false, okay? The tower is false. There's falseness involved. Two of Cups, partnership. Page of Wands reversed. So the Page of Wands reversed is bad news. It's a setback. It's uh, a lack of focus. Not interested. Not interested in following through. No passion. No desire. No drive. Uh, Nine of Wands. Again, challenging. You're in a very challenging position. Where you're at, there's a lack of, of passion. There's a lack of desire. There's definitely a lack of drive. There's This is going south. This is something dashed expectations. The spark going out. You know, there's no... There's no spark here. There's no life here, right? This is um, something being put out. It's like the fire being put out. The, 
the spark is gone, the desire is gone. This is there's no excitement here, no passion, a lack of passion. Um, I feel like you need to step into unknown territory. I feel like you've been avoiding it though. I feel like there's the, there's the end of a partnership here, but you no, know, because we have the world and the two of cups, world, and we have the end. It, co it goes like this: we have the end. The world, the two of cups, and the nine of wands. So the end of a journey with a partner with that you have been avoiding. I feel like you've been trying really, really hard to make something work. But no matter what you do, there's a lack of passion. There's a lack of attraction. or There's a lack of desire. or There's just no spark there. There's no spark, right? That's what it looks like to me. Okay? There's no attraction to it. The ace of wands reversed. Um... I feel like you are about to experience some major upheaval in this foundation, whatever foundation it is. I, I think that you've been in a false sense of security. There's going to be there's going to be a, a, a some upheaval. It's going to be that you never saw coming. Maybe maybe somebody has burst into your world with the page of wands. That could be a new suitor that has burst into your world or burst into your partner's world. It's right next to the two of cups. It's like there's a new suitor here and it's a shock. It's a surprise. You know, it's a sudden change. Okay. There could definitely be a new partner here that was unexpected. You know, that changes everything. Maybe that's the soulmate. You know, I do see a soulmate connection. I do think that we have, um, I don't know, with that page of wands reverse. You may be dealing with somebody that doesn't have anything good to say. This person may be boring. Very, very boring. They're, they don't have any drive. You know, they may even have a self-image problem. This person just doesn't light your fire in some way. And I feel like you've been thinking about making some sort of escape. I feel like escape is escape is here. It's like I want to escape. I want to escape. You know, I do think that somebody is going to be making an escape. I do it because it looks like we have an escape here, escaping something. So I do feel like we have somebody here that is 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 going to find their strength and their determination to get out of a situation. I feel like you've been in a situation where maybe you've been procrastinating or making excuses and not taking any action because of the avoidance, avoiding the challenge of getting out of this situation because it's something, right? It's something, but it's a lack. There's definitely a lack of abundance here. There's a lack of happiness. And I feel like you are about to embark on a whole new journey where you are headed. It's like you're headed down a new path where there's a, where it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. There's a rainbow, there's sun, there's light, there's love, there's prosperity and abundance, but you have to find a way to not repeat your previous cycles and sacrifice yourself for something that you're not attracted to anymore. You know what I mean? So I feel like this week you are going to be put in a position because the tower is a faded event and it is unavoidable. And I don't care what any other tarot reader says. It's been avoidable up until now, okay? This is an unavoidable change, okay, that needs to be dealt with. This is a necessary evil. This is like a permanent loss. This is a shock. It is a surprise. Somebody may have a new partner, okay? They may have, or they may be getting together with a new partner with that page of wands because that's like a new suitor. It could definitely be a new suitor where, well, you know, somebody just has a lot in common with this person. That's a new suitor with somebody that you or they, you or they have a lot in common with, you know, and that can't be ignored. It can't be ignored. Um, two of wands, spur of the moment decision at that crossroads. Do I stay or do I go? So somebody is, gonna, is at a crossroads where they're, they're probably going to be making a decision which way to go. There's definitely two, two paths. This could be a sudden, suddenly leaving. You know, somebody may be suddenly leaving. I think it is sudden. It's right next to the tower. Um, maybe they've gotten the answers, you know, from somewhere and they make their decision to suddenly leave. Nine of swords giving deep thought to a relationship. We have somebody here that has been in a state of despair, right? They've been having a very, very hard time, especially at night. A lot of mental anguish here about moving forward because it's, it's, it's scary. I feel like it's very scary. It's scary to start over. It's scary to, uh, 
initiate change or even to make any changes. Change is scary. I feel like there's a lot of guilt here as well. Guilty for making the decision. So somebody feels really guilty for making the decision that is best for them. I think that you need to let go of your guilt or whoever is watching this that is feeling bad needs to do what's right for them. You got to do, if you want prosperity and you want abundance and you want happiness and you want light in your life, you have to be, you have to deal with the darkness. And there's darkness with the tower card. There's a lot of hidden things behind those walls. Okay, there's a lot of darkness. So I feel like there is definitely light that is going to be shed. Somebody may be coming clean. You know, they may be, you know, they can't take it anymore. They may reach a breaking point where they, you know, whoops, seven of wands. They give up. They step down. They walk away. Seven of wands reversed. This is admitting defeat to seven of wands. It is a stepping down from a position. It really is. I feel like this is definite. It's admitting, admitting something. Somebody may admit something. They may admit their, that they don't want to do this anymore. They don't, they don't want to, they don't want to do this anymore. Judgment reversed. Judgment reversed is moving on. It's, it's like make, moving on from that poor choice. It's time. Moving on from a bad choice. I feel like we have somebody here that hasn't been answering the higher call. They haven't been honest. And they've been avoiding being judged. They've been avoiding judgment. They've been avoiding the truth. Not telling the truth. Definitely feeling guilty. Somebody's feeling really, really guilty for uh, maybe choosing another opportunity. Four of Cups reverse. This is seizing a new opportunity for wanting something more feeling guilty for wanting something more. But I feel like this is about honoring your truth, being held accountable. You need to be held accountable for the truth. You need to speak the truth. I feel like we have somebody here that has made a bad choice. This is a poor judgment call and they need to come clean. They need to be honest. Um, definitely guilty. Um, maybe even ashamed. You know, um, Having a hard time accepting the truth. Having a hard time accepting that something is over. A lack of acceptance here. I think that you may be in a state of, maybe it's even, I feel like it's despair with that nine of swords. A state of despair, you know, because I think that you've been trying really hard to make something work where there's been a lot of tension. A lot of tension. And there's been a lot of games I feel like we I feel like we have a breaking point here. This isn't happiness. This is not wish fulfillment. I feel like you have another partner here and, or somebody does. There's definitely another partner. It's, it's, your soulmate is not who you think it is. And we have the two of cups and the world cards. Those so the end of a partnership and endings lead to new beginnings. So somebody is probably going to be reuniting or reuniting with somebody that they are meant to be with, that is their soulmate, but it does cause a departure of some sort. This is seizing a new opportunity. This is taking a new opportunity. It is, where it was this way, it's ignoring it. This way is taking it. So somebody is gonna be taking a new opportunity. They are, an opportunity for love because that's an ace of cups. They may have ignored it or, you know, um, Put it off for some reason. This is taking that opportunity. So there is somebody here that is going to be taking another opportunity. One more card. Somebody has ignored their intuition. They have ignored the truth. They have not been honest with themselves. They've held on for security reasons. Because it looked good. It looked good to society. It looked good to the outside world. That's false. Okay. It's false impressions. Seven of Pentacles. That's about investment. Investing. Um, is it worth it? Is it worth it? So somebody's in the process of making a decision whether they should definitely stay or go. Relocate. Go someplace else. Somebody is probably... Um, Definitely it has to do with romance. It has to do with a partnership. Um, I do think that we have somebody here that is about to make some sort of escape. They are about to uh, invest someplace else. Because that's the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is like there's nothing left here. Short-lived success. There's no more growth. The only way you're going to get any more 
stability or security or prosperity and abundance is to invest someplace else. This, this ground is no longer fertile. That season is over with the seven of pentacles. You must plant those seeds someplace else to have prosperity and abundance. So somebody, and that's where we're at. That's where, that's what this is. It's like, it's time. It's really time to invest someplace else to get that ultimate payout, to get that ultimate reward. So this, I feel like somebody has been um, in denial with judgment reverse. It's like avoiding the, in the, 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 uh, tower is diagonal to it. It's avoiding the truth. You know, I'm just going to stay in this false sense of security because it feels comfortable, but there's nothing more coming. This You've got all you're going to get. And the only way that you're going to get any more prosperity and abundance is to invest in something new. So I feel like you're ready. I feel like you are. I feel like you're ready for more abundance. And the only way that you're going to get it is to break free from this false sense of security that you've been involved in. So I think this is all coming to an end. I do. I think the universe is involved here. I think it's been a long time coming. Five of Swords reversed. Now the Five of Swords reversed could be a betrayal. It could be a conflict. This could be the end of a conflict. This is like, I don't got nothing left to prove. I just want to be happy. I, I'm walking away. Isn't, this is non-negotiable goodbye. It really is. This, is. this is too much for me. This is letting go of the ego. I, I just want to be happy. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This is admitting defeat and walking away. I also feel like we have somebody here that hasn't been been listening to a warning. They have been ignoring, they haven't been answering the higher call. There could be some sort of major disruption where somebody gets themselves in trouble because they didn't listen. There's not listening here. With the, with the judgment reversed in this card, this is ignoring a warning. And with judgment reversed as well, somebody has been ignoring a warning. It's like, and they could end up in, in a hospital or even in jail. Just being honest with that nine of with the nine of swords. This is this is ignoring a warning, and the five of swords reversed is both ignoring a warning. And above the judgment card is this nine of swords, which that looks like. I mean, that blanket looks like jail blanket or a hospital blanket, you know. And this is serious regrets for not being honest, not being truthful, for fighting and letting ego get in the way of happiness. So somebody could definitely get them. And the, and the tower reversed is def, could be an extreme fight, extreme explosion. Something could explode, you know. And the seven of wands right next to that nine of swords is a battle. It's a fight. It's like being attacked. You know what I mean? So, you know, there could be some sort of attack. Um, you should have walked away. You should have walked away. Maybe this is part of the lesson. You know, maybe somebody has been repeating cycles where they get themselves into situations where they get themselves into trouble. You know, maybe it's even with the law because they, they make poor choices. They go overboard. They let their ego get in the way. Nine of Cups reverse is very egotistical as well. There could also be somebody here that is a rat that tattles, you know, with that page of wands reverse. That could be somebody that, you know, is causing trouble for you, that causes an uproar in your foundation. Um, I do believe you're going to be facing some challenges this week because I feel like there's a false sense of security here or a false foundation that has been somebody has been avoiding it. They've been avoiding the truth. They've been, you know, trying to build this up when it's totally fake, you know, and you know, that can only last for so long. Um, the end, the end, the end of a cycle, beginning a new one, headed toward prosperity and abundance. You know, rejection is God's protection. Just so you know, I don't know if that's what's happening, but I see your soulmate is not who you think it is. I do think you're going to be starting a new life. Absolutely, I do, because that, that uh, the end card and the world card, the world card is the end of one journey and the beginning of a new one. So you are about to start a new journey with a new partner. This is a new partner. It is. Underneath it is a two of cups. So you have a new journey with a new partner. Okay, may not be what you asked for, but it's what they had in mind, something better aligned with your soul. Anyhow, good luck.